For the seventh time since relocating to the Okanagan, the Kelowna Rockets have drawn the Tri-City Americans in a playoff series. The best of seven first round set opens up Thursday night at Prospera Place. Playoff time in the Western Hockey League, always the most exciting part of a hockey season. Jason, uh, watching practice today, is it just me or does it appear as if the guys have a little bit more giddy up in their step today than uh, they may have on a normal practice? I think obviously they're excited. You, you play all year for the opportunity to play in the playoffs and guys are excited about the challenge ahead. I think uh, we've got some confidence and uh, positive environment and the guys are looking forward to getting out there. Can you talk about the preparation for a playoff series? How different is preparing for a series such as this as opposed to preparing for game 52? Well, obviously you have a little more time between games and I think the coaching staff you can put a little more attention to the detail and what the the opposition is doing. I don't think you want to overbear your guys with too much information but you know you can give them a lay out of the land of what the team tries to do in their system play and we can hopefully counter that with our preparation and what we're going to try to do to allow our team to have success. More video work uh, now than you would see in a regular season? Well, I think you put in time. I think as a staff, we, we watch lots of video during the year and try and do a lot of individual teaching with video. But come come the playoffs, you really get a chance to to see the team and work and prepare for the team that you're going to play for the series. It's going to be the first team to win four games, and it's about the work that Obviously the guys do on the ice, but if we can give them as much information as, as possible to help them be prepared, uh, we're trying to do that. You haven't seen the Tri-City Americans in probably two months. I think it was the beginning of, of January. How do you slow down a team uh, that is as fast and as skilled as they are? Well, they've got some really skilled players up front and they've got some quality puck movers on the back end. It's, it's going to be about our positioning, our work ethic, and making sure we're on good inside position I think we don't want to give them great a scoring chances they'll probably spend some time in the ozone but if we're on the inside we're competing for ice making them work I think our guys will defend and, and we'll get the saves that'll allow us the opportunity to play in the ozone not a lot really to choose from between the two hockey teams during the regular season both win a game in regulation both win a game in overtime all four games one goal games uh, uh, you know the power plays are very similar uh, both against each other and in the league and penalty killing the same way um, both teams with you know two three 30 goal scorers two 80 point guys uh, really not a lot to choose from oh no they're a good team I think uh, the parity in the league and how competitive it is from top to bottom is is great for junior hockey and it's going to be uh, it's going to be a good series. There's going to be uh, lots of blood, sweat, and tears, and uh, hopefully we're going to be the team that comes out on top. It's going to come down to I would assume you would say uh, goaltending and probably special teams. Oh, well, I think special teams are a huge part of it. I mean, we need to be disciplined and work to stay out of the penalty box, and hopefully our work ethic and our our play will dictate us getting some power plays, and then we can capitalize on them and. When it comes to your penalty kill, it's about the four guys on the ice and the goalie doing whatever they can to keep the puck out of the net. You mentioned goaltending. Uh, James Porter uh, saw action in all four games against Tri-City. Uh, is he the guy you're going to run with, or are you going to go back and forth? Have you made any decisions? Well, Junior's going to start uh, tomorrow night, and we'll go from there. I mean, uh, we expect ups and downs and hopefully some success. and and. Uh, Whatever we have to do to win games, we'll do. And whoever's in the net will be in the net. You talked about their forwards, their puck-moving defensemen, uh, the, the way they play. Um, I mean, you guys are no slouches either. When you look at guys like Dubé, Lynn, Twarinski uh, up front, uh, uh, your back end uh, anchored by Cal as well. Um, do you look at what they do as, 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 as the opposition? Do you concern yourself more with what you do? Or is it a, a mix of both? Well, generally, most of the time we've really worried about the plan we put forward for our guys and how we execute it. If, if we do the right things and, and play with the pace and, and compete, I think our structure and our attention to the detail and the way we play will give us an opportunity to, to win. I think you have to make adjustments as the series goes, but to start, we're really worrying about what we're doing and how we compete, and we'll go from there. 
you've been in these situations as a as a player yourself. Uh, the highs and the lows of playoffs can be can be so paramount. Uh, how do you keep the guys on an even keel? Oh, emotional management. I think you got to talk to them about that. There's going to be some times where things aren't going our way, and there's going to be some times where, hopefully, emotionally we're really high. But you don't want to get too high. You don't want to get too low. And if you can find that happy medium where you're you're involved in the game, you're competing, you're doing everything you can, but you're not emotionally undisciplined, physically undisciplined, then we're in a good spot. And you have to put a win or a loss behind you really fast as you get ready for the next game whenever it is. Yeah, it's about moving forward and whether it's a win or a loss, it's about preparing for the next game and until the series is over, still got work to do. Good luck. Thank you. Wayne Moore, casting at Sports at Prospera Place. We've got date night covered. Find movie listings from around the valley under the Our Town button. Click a poster and watch a trailer. <laughs> <laughs>